Chan Wu admits to dating in high school and recalls being asked out by female idol. Chan Wu, who is known as the face genius for his impeccable looks, has always been a heartthrob among fans. His personal life has drawn more attention from the public, especially his dating rumors. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at what Chan Wu himself had to say about his dating life. On a recent episode of the popular talk show Radio Star, Chan Wu opened up about his personal life and shared a story about being asked out by a female celebrity. The two were introduced to each other through a mutual acquaintance, and the female idol sent him a text message asking him out on a date. Chan Wu revealed that he had never officially dated after debut, and had only been asked out once by a celebrity. But what made other guests and the hosts of Radio Star burst into laughter afterwards was the way Chan Wu responded to the female idol asking him out. He said, I didn't really turn her down, I just didn't respond. We greeted and just passed by each other backstage. Chan Wu's reaction was explained by himself that he wanted to date a girl after having had time to get to know her personality, instead of being introduced through another person. The host of Radio Star also asked Chan Wu he had dated anyone back in high school or simply hung out together. He shyly admitted that he went out a few times with a girl when he was a high schooler and still a trainee. However, he clarified that it was not an official relationship, and the two are currently good friends. During the show, more information about Chan Wu's student life was also revealed. It turns out that he was not just a pretty face, but also an excellent student and athlete. Chan Wu was the class president and the captain of his school's basketball team. However, when asked if he was popular at school, the male idol humbly said, I was not popular. Speaking of popularity, one has to receive boxes of chocolates, right? But I only got some chocolates left on my desk. In other occasion, Chan Yu reveals his ideal type and romantic dream, accidentally reveal secret dating spot. In a previous interview that Chan Wu did with Sesi magazine, the male idol shared, Long time ago, while I was looking for good places to eat, I found a place with a good romantic atmosphere where you can also see the Nam Sun Tower. Chan Wu then continued with the dream confession he always wanted to do when he had a lover. The male idol explained, I want to eat dinner there, and naturally give a ring or a necklace, and confess. With this confession, Chan Wu surprised fans with his romantic thoughts. Some personal comments came from netizens, he's every girl's dream boyfriend. Opa, I can make you comfortable with me. I fell in love with him completely, etc. It's unsurprising that many girls are proclaiming Chan Wu as their ideal guy, given his captivating beauty both externally and internally. In fact, one broadcasting station PD recently revealed a behind-the-scenes look at the real Chan Wu and how he behaves on set. In September, According to an article posted by P.D. Pyon Anji in a magazine, P.D. Pyon participated in the KBS Seoul Festa 2022 opening performance held in August and met Chan Wu, who was in charge of emceeing at the time. Chan Wu greeted Pyon P.D. first with a bright appearance, even while he was in the middle of his pack schedules. Pyon P.D. said, If anyone is busy and tired, it is more of a luxury to say hello first let alone be kind. Pyeon PD then recalled the time when she informed Chan Wu that the existing live broadcast had been replaced with a recorded broadcast, saying, The thing that surprised me even more was during the script reading. In response Chan Wu said, Is it real? My mom said she would watch the live broadcast because she missed me, but I should tell her again. The PD said, I was impressed. He must have been to this kind of K-pop event more than 100 times, and even though it seemed boring enough, he was excited. At the same time, the PD praised Chan Wu's sincere attitude, saying that even in the midst of the actual recording when it was raining and chaotic, he concentrated and constantly asked questions politely. 
In addition, the PD said that he was greatly impressed by Chan Wu's behavior in the latter half of the recording. Concerned that Chan Wu's hair and makeup would be ruined when it rained too much, the editorial producer suggested, you use an umbrella for now, and then when I give you a cue sign, why don't you throw the umbrella on the floor? Then Chan Wu said, it's okay, I'll just try, and finished the closing with a smile, and said to the PD, you've worked hard. The PD said, even Chan Wu, who is constantly busy, lives so diligently and politely with excitement. What am I supposed to do? I think I should accept reality and live with the best positivity I can. Chan Yu undoubtedly one of the most handsome celebrities inside and out, but who would believe that he once struggled with self-confidence? During a past broadcast of the popular Korean variety show Immortal Songs singing the legend on December 17, 2016, Chan Wu opened up about his childhood and his struggles with self-image. On the show Astro had impressed audiences with their musical talent and stage presence as they covered a Nas Don't Turn Back. Chan Wu had also showcased his skills as he played the piano, leaving the audience in awe. However, amidst all the talent and charisma, Chan Wu had shared a personal story that touched many fans. He revealed that during his school days, he was quite different from the image he portrays now. He said, I liked exercising, so I was tan and chubby. I was popular. This confession had surprised many fans who were used to seeing Chan Wu as a confident and attractive young man. However, his honesty and vulnerability had only made him more endearing to his fans. Chan Wu's journey to self-acceptance and self-love is one that many people can relate to. As a public figure, he has used his platform to inspire others to embrace their unique qualities and not be ashamed of who they are. Despite the challenges he faced during his childhood, Chan Wu has emerged as a successful artist and a role model to many. He continues to captivate audiences with his talent and charm, while also using his influence to spread positivity and self-confidence. On another occasion, he also shared an enlightening revelation about how an insecurity can unexpectedly transform into a blessing in disguise. The Idol made an appearance on the July 21, 2018 broadcast of JTBC's Ask Us Anything, alongside Im Soo Hyung, his co-star in My ID is Gone on Beauty. During a segment where the cast had to guess the correct answers to guest questions, Cha Nu posed a challenge. He said, I have an insecurity, but that insecurity was a huge advantage in my life once. Try to figure out what that insecurity is and how it helped me. The cast quickly caught on to the fact that Cha Nu's insecurity was related to the size of his butt, but they couldn't quite figure out the second part of the question. With some additional hints from the Astro member, Yi Su Gun finally guessed correctly. He said, you were pierced by a nail, but you didn't sustain a serious injury because your butt has a substantial amount of fat. Chan Yu proceeded to explain that the incident occurred while filming the final scene of Astro's music video, which involved jumping from a set. He said, as we jumped, it was difficult to synchronize perfectly with six people. Due to the landing happening at different times, the set collapsed. In the process, a nail pierced my butt. Although the nail was quickly removed, one of his fellow members alerted him to the fact that he was bleeding. Chan Yu initially didn't realize the severity of the situation because he felt fine, but soon discovered that he was bleeding profusely. Chan Yu was promptly taken to the hospital but fortunately he did not sustain any major injuries. He shared, the doctor calmly said, your injury was quite deep, but fortunately it didn't reach your bones, muscles, or nerves, due to the generous amount of fat in your rear. Typically, this type of injury would require stitches, but in my case, I only needed a tetanus shot. So that's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed learning more about Chan Wu's personal life and his high school days. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Chan Wu is currently dating someone? Or do you think he's too focused on his career to be in a relationship right now? Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe, like and share this video if you enjoyed it. See you next time.